Our movie begins with a bond between father and daughter is inseparable. But when one of them cuts connection with the other, the one who remains will do everything to reconnect. In a rural home in Cuba, a girl named Lily Pace cut out newspaper bodies of people in her notebook. She looks at her family photo with her mother distant from her and her father. In the other room, Lily's father, Eduardo, asks his wife, Alina, if she's ever removed the twine that cuffs her feet together. She says not even once, and her husband kisses her feet. Meanwhile, Lily cuts the faces from her family photo. She glues the cut-out faces to the bodies in the notebook, making it look like they're all together. The following day, Alina angrily chops meat until her daughter tells her to come outside. When Alina goes out, Eduardo tries to kiss her, but she backs away, estranged from her husband. She tells Lily to head out because she's going to be late, so Lily bids farewell. Alina goes back inside the house, and Eduardo shuts the door locked from the outside, leaving her trapped. Later on, Eduardo and Lily watch the locals play baseball. While the two bond, Eduardo kisses his daughter's forehead. Lily asks him when her mother will join them, and he replies one day, she'll join. After the game, the two go home in Eduardo's mobile shoe repair motorcycle. Back at home, Elena talks to a man named Carlos behind the door. Carlos slips a sleeping pill through the gap, and Elena thanks him. She lifts her skirt in exchange for the gift as he watches through the gap. Moments later, the father and daughter arrive home. Eduardo parks his shoe repair mobile in his shed, and Carlos, his worker, greets him. Lily waits by the porch while Eduardo unlocks the house door. The girl tells her mother about the game, and Eduardo inspects the food Elena's cooking. He tells his daughter he wants to talk to his wife, so Lily leaves the kitchen. In Lily's room, Lily watches and eavesdrops on her parents through her unclosed door. Elena, unable to take whole steps, submissively inches towards Eduardo. He inspects the twine he tied on her ankles, telling her their house will be peaceful the day he forgets it all. She then tells him to think of Lily, and Eduardo says he's doing what he thinks is best for their family. During dinner, the father and daughter eat. Lily tells her father that she wants her mother to join them to eat like before. The father says he'll see what he can do. Meanwhile, Elena gets the sleeping pill from her pocket and quietly puts it in Eduardo's cup of water on his bedside table. After dinner, Eduardo comes inside the room and notices the missing family photo. He asks Elena about the missing photograph and then drinks the water from the cup. Later that night, Elena goes to Lily's room and tells her daughter she wants to escape. They go to their locked gate and Elena tells her daughter to trust her. The mother tries to unlock the gate with Eduardo's keys, but it doesn't budge, so she gives the keys to Lily so she can help her. Instead, Lily goes to her father and wakes him up because Elena is escaping. Lily gets angry at her mother, throws the keys, and closes the door. Elena begs for her freedom as she tries to convince her daughter to come to live with her. Lily grabs her father's alcohol bottle and threatens her mother, saying she doesn't want to leave her father. Suddenly, Eduardo wakes up when he hears his wife and daughter arguing. The following morning, Elena cries on the floor, shaking, as Eduardo dips a towel in a bucket with water. In Lily's room, Lily hears the sounds of her mother getting whipped repeatedly. While Elena cries for him to stop, Eduardo tells his wife that she's the reason he's doing that. Later that day, Eduardo and Lily go to town to repair shoes. Lily asks her father if he can forgive her mother, to which he says yes, but he's still not ready yet. He hugs Lily and tells her that the only thing he loves is the two of them, and Lily is his favorite. Moments later, the father and daughter go home and see Carlos at their shed. Carlos asks Eduardo to have a serious talk, so Lily goes outside. Concerned, Carlos asks if Elena is not allowed to go outside because he thinks she's ill. Eduardo replies that he should mind his business while Lily eavesdrops on the men's conversation outside the shed. Afterward, Eduardo and Lily go to their barn to get a piglet because Elena didn't cook dinner. During dinner, Eduardo and Lily enjoy their meal while Elena cries in her bedroom. Eduardo goes to the bedroom and tells his wife to eat because their daughter begged him to allow her. Later, Eduardo goes to Lily's bedroom and asks if she likes how he cooked the pig. He notices Lily's notebook, gets it from her, and finds out the missing family photo has been cut out and pasted. He starts to rip the page, and Lily nervously asks for forgiveness from her father. Eduardo gets angered, telling her that she's starting to sound like her mother. To divert the conversation, she lies that when Elena tried to escape last night, Carlos was waiting for her outside. That night, Eduardo rides his motorcycle to Carlos's house. He tells Carlos he needs help to check the quality of the leather that will be delivered soon. They ride on the motorcycle and go to a banana plantation, away from his house. When they arrive, Carlos urinates near the plants. When he returns, Eduardo suddenly disappears, so he looks for him. Carlos hears a strange noise of a woman cry and finds Elena tied up to a tree. Suddenly, Eduardo punches Carlos's head and beats him up on the ground. 
Afterward, Eduardo tells his wife he wants to hear her begging forgiveness. Unexpectedly, Carlos gets up and stabs Eduardo's neck with a shard of glass, thus killing him. After the incident, Elena returns home to check on Lily while Carlos gets rid of the evidence. The next day, Lily wakes up and sees the front door wide open. She wonders why the door is open because her father always locks the door. Lily asks her mother if she sees her father, and Elena replies that he'll be back later. Lily spots Carlos outside and asks him if he's seen Eduardo, but he claims he didn't. Inside the house, Lily suspects something terrible happened to her father. She blames herself and reveals to Elena what she told him last night. The girl admits she was scared her father would hit her because of the photo, therefore, she lied. Elena sits beside her daughter and assures her that Eduardo will forgive her. The whole day passes by, but Eduardo still hasn't returned home. Lily goes back home and breaks the twine on her mother's ankles. Her mother assures Lily that she won't leave without her, so Elena suggests they should wait for Eduardo. Hours later, Lily drinks her father's alcohol as she worries for him. The next morning, Lily runs outside and desperately looks for her father. She shouts as loud as she can, thinking her father might hear her. Later on, a psychic named Karadad finds Lily passed out on the side of the road. The woman gives her water to drink and brings Lily to her house. At Karadad's house, Lily wakes up. Karadad asks her what happened to her father because when she found her, she kept mentioning her father. After Lily tells her what happened, Karadad offers to help her. Meanwhile, Elena looks for her missing daughter in the rain. Elena worriedly tells Carlos that she thinks Lily suspects something bad happened to her father. In a small room, Karadad lights several candles to begin her spiritual ritual. While Lily closes her eyes, Karadad throws flower petals on Lily's face while chanting. After the ritual, Lily asks if her father will be back soon, and the woman shakes her head, saying it doesn't work that way unless she has faith. After, Karadad brings Lily back to her home. Later that night, Lily opens the bag that Karadad gave her. She sees an egg and a note of instructions on what to do to make her father come back. When her father returns, she must crack the egg and leave the egg white and yolk inside a bowl. In the meantime, she must talk to the egg as if it was her father. She must also break an egg at every entrance of her house and have faith. While she follows the instructions outside their house, Elena and Carlos see her and think something's wrong with her. The next morning, Lily eats breakfast, and her mother asks about the things Karadad gave her. Lily explains she wants to bring her father back, so Elena suggests they report Eduardo missing. Lily refuses because she knows he'll lose everything due to the cruel acts he does to his wife. After their conversation, Elena goes outside while Lily observes her at a distance. Lily goes to her room and talks to the egg, saying that her mother put on lipstick today. She expresses her love for her dad and how she wishes the egg would talk back to her. As she looks at the photo of her father in her notebook, she recalls when Karadad told her to make an altar. Lily makes an altar with a picture of her father next to a candle, a glass of water, and a white flower. Hours later, Lily checks the altar she made. Unexpectedly, she hears her father's voice, asking if she had become a believer. Throughout the night, Lily talks to Eduardo's voice while holding the egg about how she's been wanting to tell him about the night Elena tried to escape. Lily admits that Carlos was never outside waiting for Elena. Her father's voice calmly replies that it doesn't bother him. Seconds later, Lily goes to the altar and breaks the egg on the bowl. The next morning, the mother and daughter eat together. Lily tells Elena that Eduardo is home, so Elena checks Lily's room. Elena doesn't see him, so she returns to Lily and hugs her as she cries. Later that day, Elena fearfully tells Carlos what happened earlier and that Lily must see a doctor. That evening, Elena surprises her daughter's 14th birthday with a cake. Lily blankly stares at it, then blows out the candle while the two sit in silence. Suddenly, Carlos knocks on their door with a puppy for Lily and joins them at the dinner table. Lily says she's naming the puppy Carlo, and Elena tells her to name it something else. Carlos mentions he doesn't mind it since he feels flattered. After dinner, Lily sits outside and notices Carlos and her mother's bond, like they know each other well. Elena says that Carlos is a friend, so she must accept it, then goes inside the house. That night, Lily wakes up from a nightmare. While Elena and Carlos intimately embrace, Lily watches them through a gap. Elena tells him that her daughter has been acting strangely, so they must look for Karadad to help her. In the middle of the night, Lily goes to the kitchen while Eduardo's spirit stands across the room. She puts the puppy inside a pressure cooker and says that they only accept gifts from family. She places the pot on the stove and lights a matchstick until she hears her mother approaching and hides. Elena finds the puppy inside the pressure cooker and takes the puppy away. A few seconds later, Lily goes outside and heads to Karadad's house. She hears her father speaking to her, saying he's proud to have a daughter like her. She douses Karadad's wooden home with gasoline, then lights it on fire. 
As the house burns to flames, Caridad screams for help. The next morning, Elena decides to give the puppy back to Carlos. Lily listens to their conversation about Elena wanting to tell the truth to her daughter. Carlos says it'll be worse for her since she was the one who did it. Lily runs to her room and asks her father's spirit what she should do. Hours later, Elena sleeps while Lily ties her mother in bed. In the morning, Carlos walks to Elena's house and she sees Elena tied up to the bed. While he approaches her, Lily suddenly strikes his head with a baseball bat, causing him to pass out. The girl repeatedly bashes his head and eventually kills him. Shortly after, Lily drags Carlos's body to the barn. Then, she goes back to Elena with a bucket of water to dip the towel and puts a rosary in her hand. Lily repeatedly whips her crying mother with the wet towel as she says that all she's doing is for their family's good. After Lily whips her mother, Elena confesses that Carlos is the one who killed her father. When Lily hears this, she turns around and hugs her father while she cries. Elena interrupts and asks for water while she asphyxiates on the cloth tied to her neck. The girl loosens the cloth on her mother's neck and gets water for her. When Lily returns, she pours the water into Elena's mouth even though her mother is dead. Lily cries, realizing what she did to her mother. Moments later, Lily shaves her hair in the same style as her father's. She goes back into the bedroom and lies down beside her dead mother. Outside their house, Lily brings her father's rocking chair to the porch and sits in silence. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.